I'm sitting here waiting for the most beautiful woman I've ever seen in my life. She's gonna be my bride for the rest of my life. You are so incredibly beautiful. You're so Baby. Kelsey Diane Kerr. Today I marry the love of my life, my best friend, and the person that fits my needs so well. Today I count myself lucky for who I will spend the rest of my life with. I fucking love you. <laughs> what was that last one? Uh, I fucking love you? Yeah, yeah that's in there. <laughs> I hope I love you more every day from here on out. You are marrying a sinner that will fail you all of his life, but I will never stop trying and never give up. I will love you the rest of my life, and it won't be easy, but it will be beautiful. I cannot wait to wake up next to your pretty face, your husband Zachary. November 2013. My darling. <laughs> this is gonna be hard. <laughs> Today we begin our brand new life together. I have never anticipated any day so much as I have this one. All my girlish childhood dreams culminate in this day. And now after all these years of waiting, I know it's all been for you. You are the love of my life, Zachary Carey. In a few hours, I'm going to change my name to your to yours. And I'll be and I will be banned to you for all of our lives. I am so deeply and unspeakably thankful that God wrote, wrote our life stories so that you and I would be family. I love you with every part of my being. You're alive. You're white. Um, let me tell you a story about Zach and Kelsey. So can I, can I tell them a story? Can I tell them a story? Okay. So <clears throat> last year, I was, in, I was a commuter assistant, and Zach was like, bro, have you, have you seen Kelsey? I was like, yeah, she was in the commuter center. And he, and he would just be like, oh my gosh. I was like, why don't you just go in there? I was like, no, because it would be super awkward if I just go in there and not have lunch and just sit by her. I'm like, yeah, that's what you do. You just sit by her and ask her how she's doing. So anyways, so this went on for about a week. You know, he would constantly ask me. I would text him. And so we figured out like a code. Like, so when, because he didn't want anyone to find out, like, we were talking about Kelsey and stuff. So we made a code. And so every time, <laughs> every time that I would see Kelsey in the community center, yeah. I would find Zach and I would say, Zach, there's a, there's a treat for you in the community center. <clears throat> and then he was like, he was like, he was like, what, what treat? And I was like, oh, dude, don't you like hot tamales? Like, it's red you know red hot fire yeah there's there's a treat for you in the community center he'll be like oh okay 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 so it went on for about two weeks and then i found out that they went on a blind date and look at them now dearly beloved we are gathered here today in the sight of god and in the presence of these witnesses to celebrate one of life's greatest moments, the union of a man and a woman in the joyful sacrament of marriage. You see, marriage isn't always easy, but it's always good. Uh, you see, it was God who first came up with the idea of marriage. He saw us and he said, it's not good for man to be alone. In marriage, we are afforded the opportunity to become more than the sum of our parts, more than who we currently are. 
Marriage grinds the edges off us. Um, it forces us to, to take a look at our blind spots. It forces us to do battle with our selfless nature. And so as I stand here today, I, I uh, encourage you not to believe the Disney script that you've arrived at the finish line, but today uh, you have arrived at the starting line, and you are going to be able to build a love that you will be able to enjoy for the lifetime. And so, without any other hesitation, I believe we're ready to get into it. Zach, will you repeat after me the following words of commitment? Kelsey. Kelsey. This ring represents... This ring represents... The permanency of our union. The permanency of our unions. And the value I place. And the value I place. On our love for one another. On our love for one another. Accept this ring. Gotta accept this ring. As a token of that love. As a token of that love. And a pledge of my trust. And the pledge of my trust. Loyalty. Loyalty. And devotion. And devotion. To you and the marriage. <laughs> to you and to the marriage. Till death separates us. Till death separates us. Since you vowed to each other, therefore, by virtue of the authority vested in me as a minister of the gospel, and in accordance with the great laws of our state of Oregon, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Ladies and gentlemen, it uh, gives me great pleasure to introduce to you for the first time, Zach and Kelsey Carey. So, you know, part of it is we, we sit on this side of, of things and as parents, you, you, you spend all this time worrying about what things are going to be like. And uh, God is faithful and has brought the two of them together in this and um, I have nothing but high hopes. Um, I'm sure that those who've been married understand that um, marriage is a sanctifying work. That um, I am a different person today than I was before I married my wife. And we've been married 30 years now, and I'm still learning uh, what kind of man I should be. And uh, you know, there's an encouragement to that. And so you're on a, the very beginning of that road, and you're gonna find tough times. Um, Always express your expectations. Always, you know, view the other person as a participant in marriage and not the enemy. View Christ in each of you and then pursue him wholeheartedly. And so, ladies and gentlemen, I, I again, we've already announced the two of them, but I'm pleased to call Zach my son, and Kelsey my daughter. <laughs> 